Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, we're back again with another video. It is absolutely hot here today in the UK. We're going for a bit of a heat wave at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just crack on and see what I can do with this video. Um, today's video is about how to make um, a Bandcamp album artwork. Um, it's something that I've been sort of thinking about doing a tutorial for. I don't know how many of you have used Photoshop before. Um, how many of you are actually using Photoshop or what program do you use to create your artwork? It would be cool if you could put some comments down below. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do one um, in Photoshop. Now, as you can see here, uh, the specifications required is 1400 pixels by 1400 pixels minimum. JPEG, GIF or PDF and also 10 megabyte max, which is quite a big file. So what we're going to do is we're going to call up Photoshop and we're going to set a new document to that spec. So that's 1400 by 1400, right? So we go to here, hit new and we want to go to international paper, let's say. And we want to change this to pixels, change that to 1400 by 1400 and also make sure your resolution uh, is a minimum of 300 dpi because 300 dpi uh, sorry 300 pixels per inch yeah um, is basically um, print quality um, most web um, internet quality uh, stuff is usually 72 uh, but you don't want to do 72 because it's quite low quality as far as I know okay so once you've done that uh, then you're then faced with your, um, you know, uh, your blank page. So what you do next is obviously you get your logo, you pop your logo on there. And um, at the moment I'm pressing um, Apple and T or Control and T to enlarge it. And if you notice it's a bit pixelated, but once I press enter, you go there, you, you'll see that it's, uh, it shows the right size. Uh, next, so next, what I would do is let's say um, I'm going to be calling this, uh, let's say, science EP, S C I E N C E E P. Now, what you want to do is um, you want to go and find a real cool font to install on your computer. Um, usually, I go on a little font mission and I hunt down fonts um, online to find out, um, you know, what fonts are good. Uh, there's some, some really cool places to, to get fonts. You've got, um, I think, free, just Google free fonts. Um, free fonts. And you'll probably find 101, uh, 1001 free fonts and the font. Uh, there's also another one called Font Space. Uh, and I basically go on here and I have a good look at, you know, for a cool font that I want to use. For instance, if you know, this is a pretty good font. I would download that. Um, and I believe on the Windows 10 is probably the same thing. We just double click it and then basically the font opens 28 days later, TTF file, double click it. Then what you'll see next is a font book and then you just go install font. Then once that's in, it validates and it does whatever it does, uh, problems may have been found with the validation. I don't think you have to worry too much about that. Then the next thing you want to do is I mean, I like this font, but I'm just giving you an example on how I would go about installing, you know, a font. Okay, so you choose your font that you want. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be using this cool font here, which is the Badaboom font. Once you do that, you double click here. Uh, you go to here, you can select your color from here. You can have it black, you can have it red. Uh, cool trick as well is also, let's look for a, a nice background to go on to here, onto our cover. And then I would just go to Google go to Google Images now obviously it's better if you use your own images uh, rather than just um, jacking some images but let's say for example uh, lightning G H T N I N G. so we're gonna grab some lightning from from Google and another thing as well when you're doing this sort of thing uh, you want to go to size and you want to go to um, pick choose a large size file and that way that what you get is going to be really um, good high quality uh, this is a really cool one right so let's grab this uh, also make sure obviously that you know possibly you, you have, do have permission to use the file uh, so we're going to download that lightning and then once that's downloaded I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to open with and then go to Photoshop and then right great so we got this here now so let's lighten it up again here let's go to image brightness let's brighten it up a bit 
uh, just to give it you know a bit of a uh, bit of contrast make it look a little bit a little bit cool a little bit different you could change it you could image rotation you could flip uh, the canvas a bit just to change it up a tad now let's chuck that in there now Photoshop consists of layers uh, everything's on a different layer you've got control over everything that you do yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the bottom layer which is pretty much just above the background right so if you can see that's there now we're going to press um, Apple and T uh, control and T for transform you can also do that from the menu yeah grab that there now let's um, get, grab this and then we're going to just do a right click here go to blending options uh, then we're going to do a stroke around it so bring the font out a little bit more look at that cool okay so now we're getting there now at the moment it's a little bit um, the background is a little bit harsh yeah I would say so we could get this here we could turn down the opacity right or another cool trick we can do is we can create a new layer like so and then we can just grab our cover right and then we can just literally press this paint bucket here uh, let's fill this fill this maybe with a black probably now it's going to go black yeah but then we get this opacity we make it transparent so it's not so hard so we got that in the background there yeah great so once we've done that we can grab uh, let's say for example my uh, busy B logo grab that um, and then let's maybe get the um, eraser tool uh, right now at the moment it's not letting me erase yeah because it wants me to do oh, okay somehow I think I've opened up a Photoshop okay never mind all right so that's not a problem okay so we're gonna grab that and then we're gonna grab this and slide this over uh, this is whoops I'm on the wrong thing here hold on grab that get the right layer grab that put that over here now if this doesn't let you drag it yet it's more likely because your mode has to be in RGB on both files make sure the two files are in the same mode next I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make that kind of smaller pop that there and as you can see I've got a hole there that's easy filled and let's fill that with white there we go grab it make it smaller pop that there okay so that you know that's pretty oops that's pretty much it yeah you've got your you've got your little title there uh, another cool trick um if you want to soften the edges a bit say like i've got this here i make an eraser get it bigger put the hardness to one percent um and then just kind of brush around the edges so it's not so much of a square you can do that just to kind of fine tune it off, just sort of multi do multiple clicks. There you go. So there's a little piece of artwork there, and this is kind of how I go about it. And then you could just kind of work on the, work on it until you get what you want. Uh, for example, so now I think that that sample is. Let's bring that up here to kind of blend it in with that. Look at that. So we've got something going on. Uh, you know there. So you know that's the general gist of it. So once you've done that now. You would then go to save as and then literally save it as a jpeg remember you set the size to 14 by 1400 uh so you go to save uh let's see i'm, I'm actually working on the science ep part eight at the moment so i'll probably change that to eight and then i'll work on this a little bit more later and probably use this for science ep8 there you go so if you've got any questions uh, don't hesitate to you know post um so comment down below and also if you what you know let me know what you'd like to see in future videos as well um because um you know it always gives me ideas because i always get stuck for ideas onto what videos people might want to see uh and learn about the whole uh, music thing right so let's see so grab that sign cp8 and that's it you just literally save that and you'd upload it to um to the Bandcamp page you know it's not the greatest artwork at the moment it's just a quick thing to give you a general idea on how it works um i hope that you know you found that useful um if you like this video please subscribe and give it the thumbs up take care god bless peace
three, two, one. Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, we're back again with another video. And today's video is about mastering your songs using Isotope Ozone 6. Now, you can flick through the song here by just clicking on it here, right? But the first